Money can't buy everything. The story begins in a small, quiet town where there lived a kind and humble English teacher named Mr. Martin. He didn't have much money, but he was happy with his simple life. Every morning, he woke up early, made himself a cup of tea and toast, and then walked to the local school where he worked. Mr. Martin loved teaching. He was patient, kind, and always ready to help his students. He believed that every child could learn if they worked hard enough, no matter who they were or where they came from. One day, a new student joined Mr. Martin's class. His name was Peter. Peter was not like the other students. His parents were very rich and owned big companies in the town. He lived in a huge house on a hill and always wore the best clothes. Everyone knew who Peter's family was, and Peter knew it too. He acted like he didn't need to work hard because his family had money. Peter didn't pay attention in class while the other students listened and took notes. He sat at the back of the room, playing with his phone or staring out the window. He never did his homework and often arrived late to school. Peter believed that his family's money would always solve his problems, so he didn't see the point in trying hard. Mr. Martin noticed that Peter wasn't doing his work, but he treated him with the same respect and kindness as the other students. One afternoon, after class, Mr. Martin asked Peter to stay behind for a moment. Peter, I've noticed you haven't been doing your homework, Mr. Martin said calmly. Is everything okay? Do you need help with the lessons? Peter smiled confidently. Mr. Martin, I don't need to do my homework. My parents are rich. When I finish school, I'll work for my father's company, and I'll be rich too. I don't need good grades for that. Mr. Martin looked at Peter with concern. Peter, learning is important, even if you don't think you need it now. English will help you communicate with others, understand new ideas, and succeed in life. It's not just about getting a job. It's about becoming a better person. Peter just shrugged and laughed. None of that matters to me, Mr. Martin. Money is all I need. Weeks passed, and Peter continued to ignore his schoolwork. He didn't study, complete his homework, or pay attention in class. The other students, like Sarah, worked hard and asked questions, but Peter always felt like he didn't have to try. After all, he believed his family's money would always be there to help him. One day, Peter's father came to visit the school. Peter thought this would be his chance to show Mr. Martin that his family's money could get him whatever he wanted. Peter's father was a tall man with a serious face, and everyone in the town respected him because of his wealth and success. When Peter's father arrived, Mr. Martin introduced him to some of the best students in the class. One of those students was Sarah. Sarah came from a poor family but worked harder than anyone else. She always studied, asked questions, and stayed after class to practice more. She didn't have the nice clothes or fancy things that Peter had, but she had something even more important. Dedication. Sarah, this is Peter's father, Mr. Martin said. Sarah is one of our top students. She works very hard every day. Peter's father smiled and shook Sarah's hand. It's nice to meet you, Sarah, he said. You must be very smart. Sarah blushed and said, I just try my best. Peter watched the conversation and felt angry. Why does my father care about Sarah, he thought. She's not rich like me. Why does she get attention? After his father left, Peter went to Mr. Martin with a smirk on his face. Mr. Martin, I don't need to be like Sarah. I have money. I can pay you to give me a passing grade. How much do you want? Mr. Martin was shocked by Peter's words. He looked at Peter and said firmly, Peter, grades are not something you can buy. You must earn them by working hard, just like Sarah and all the other students. Peter laughed again. Who cares about hard work? My family has money. I'll get what I want no matter what. If you don't give me a good grade, I'll tell my parents. They'll make sure you lose your job. Mr. Martin stayed calm but felt sad for Peter. Peter, he said, there are many things in life that money cannot buy. Cannot buy respect, knowledge, or true success. If you want to succeed, you must work for it. Peter didn't like Mr. Martin's answer but didn't say anything. 
He left the classroom still believing that money would solve his problems. A few months passed, and it was time for the final exams. All the students were nervous but ready. They had studied hard, especially Sarah, who spent hours reviewing her notes. But Peter didn't care. He hadn't studied and was sure his money would fix everything. After the exam, Peter looked at his grade and was shocked. He had failed. He couldn't believe it. Peter stormed into Mr. Martin's office. You failed me, Peter shouted. I told you to give me a passing grade. Mr. Martin looked at Peter and said calmly, Peter, I cannot give you a grade you did not earn. You didn't study, and now you see the result. Peter was furious. I'll tell my father and he'll make sure you get fired. You'll see. The next day, Peter's father came to the school. Peter was ready to make sure Mr. Martin paid for giving him a bad grade. But when his father arrived, something unexpected happened. Peter's father sat down with Mr. Martin and listened carefully. My son has told me about the situation, Peter's father said. He says you gave him a bad grade. That's correct, Mr. Martin said. Peter didn't study, and he didn't earn a passing grade. Peter's father nodded and turned to his son. Peter, I'm very disappointed in you. Peter was shocked. But Dad, we have money. Why does this matter? His father looked at him seriously. Money is not everything, Peter. Can't buy respect, hard work, or success. You thought money could get you through school, but you were wrong. Now you must face the consequences. Peter couldn't believe what he was hearing. He had always thought his father would protect him, but now he realized he had to deal with the truth. He had failed, and there was nothing money could do to fix it. In the end, Peter had to repeat the school year while all his classmates, including Sarah, passed and moved on. Sarah continued to work hard and became even more successful. Peter, on the other hand, learned a hard lesson. Not everything in life can be bought with money. Moral of the story asterisk money cannot buy everything. Respect, success, and real achievement come from hard work, honesty, and learning. If you enjoyed this story and found it helpful, make sure you don't miss our next video. We have an exciting and engaging topic lined up to help you practice your listening skills. Click here to watch it and keep improving your English. Feel free to let me know if you'd like any changes or additional details.